Welcome back to the show where some random Norwegian guy on the internet shows you how to fold stuff. Today we're gonna have a look at kitchen towels. I got two really cool ways to fold kitchen towels and I think three cool ways to uh, store them in general for you. So yeah, I know I told you that I was gonna do the spice rack next for the kitchen organizing series, but I was really in the mood to fold some stuff. So I think we're gonna start out with, uh, let's start out with this big one first and then we'll take a look at these tiny uh, like kitchen uh, dish rags or whatever you want to call it. So yeah, let's get started. All right, so the first method I want to show you is really nice for stacking into these containers. Uh, I usually keep them on the counter or in a drawer uh, next to the sink so that uh, it's easy to pull out. These will not fall apart for sure. Uh, very sturdy, pretty quick to do and they save a lot of space. And on top of that, I think they look fantastic like this. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is just unravel this little cloth here and we'll get started. So, to fold the kitchen towels, uh, I generally like to start with the, the side with the seam facing up like this, so the back side facing up. And we're gonna take a part of the towel here and we're gonna fold it underneath like so. You don't need to fold under much hair, maybe uh, a couple of inches uh, or like four or five centimeters is more than enough. Uh, this is because kitchen towels are generally very thin, so we don't really need a lot of fabric underneath. So next we're gonna split uh, the kitchen towel here into thirds. So I'm gonna fold one side, one third of the way in like this. And then I'm gonna take the other side and I'm gonna do the same thing, folding it over top of this side. So. From here we have this long cylinder, now I'm going to turn it around like so, so that the little uh, pole that we made is facing up and away. And from here I'm going to start rolling the kitchen towel up. I don't really need to roll it very tightly here. Um, if you want to save space, more space, and you have a lot of kitchen towels, you could roll it tightly. Uh, just be aware that you will create more wrinkles for your kitchen towels if you do it like that. So once we start to reach the top pair of the kitchen towel, you want to grab a hold of the entire thing here. Uh, make sure that you don't uh, <laughs> unravel it. So just grab hold of the entire thing like so. And from here, while holding on to the roll, take one of the sides like this and fold it over the entire roll. Uh, this is the part where you need to be a little bit careful. So what I'm going to do next is that I'm going to turn the roll around and with my fingers there, like the pinky and ring finger, I want to hold on to this side of the roll that we folded over. This is to secure it while I take the top side, other side, and fold it over top as well, like this. Now, you're probably going to be left with something like this that's not exactly very straightened out. So what we want to do here is just make sure that everything is nice and secured, right? So it's not going to fall out. And then just stick your index fingers or thumbs in here and just kind of adjust it, stretch it a little bit like this. Just a little bit of massaging here it does a whole lot for the process. And you will be left with this nice little cylinder here uh, that you could uh, place in a system like this. You know, I'm a big fan of these IKEA little things. Uh, gonna link it uh, again in the comments or the description of the video. If you wanna support the channel, use the link to if you're gonna purchase them. So the next thing I wanna show you is these uh, smaller little dish uh, cloths. So um, I have the, these underneath my sink. Now I wanna show you how my sink looks and that's the reason why I have these small ones. If you have a uh, bigger room under your sink, you could definitely uh, use these ones as well. Uh, they will be a little bit harder to fold, that will make sense as we move along. Uh, but let me just show you my sink first. Alright, so welcome to my kitchen sink here. Uh, I wanted to show you how I hang the towels underneath the sink. So as you can see, I have uh, the washing machine here on half, uh, half uh, underneath the sink. Uh, more on that in another video, but today I wanted to show you how I hang these under here. So like you can see, I have these little hooks that I use. Um, these are like adhesive, they're really cheap. They're only a few dollars for a pack like these. So what you get is generally these small little um, well, these are plastic and it has like an adhesive on the back side. You don't need to screw anything in or anything. So let me show you how I do this. So it's pretty easy. You're just gonna 
pick off this uh, little layer here that is on the outside of the um, adhesive and that exposes the, the glue I guess and from here it's really easy to just stick it on um, like I said you can have as many of these as you want I only have a few here so at this point it would be easy to take like uh, for example this little roll here that I've made and you can hang it and uh, this will be really easily accessible from your uh, underneath your sink here so you can just uh, open the door pull them out if you need them right so you can see it's pretty small right um, however, what we're going to do here now is that uh, we're going to take these small cloths. So you can see this is not a big cloth at all. Uh, I like to use them for just like wiping off the uh, counter or just uh, dirty work, I guess. All right, so to fold these, uh, I generally like to fold it so that this, um, this uh, handle hangs out from the fold. Uh, if you're gonna use this method yourself, make sure that the uh, handle is towards the top pair of the fold. Uh, if you know how to sew, you could sew it on there yourself. If you don't, look for something that has the handle towards one side. If it's a small one like this, it doesn't really matter as long as it's uh, on the side. So what we're gonna do here is that we're gonna start with this tiny little cloth uh, facing up like this so that you have the handle on this side. So the next step is that we're again gonna fold a little bit of the cloth underneath the rest, like so. Now you need a little bit more hair than you did for the other thinner towel. Um, if you have a thin one, you don't need this much underneath. You could probably get away with half or so. But this is a thicker sock towel, so we do need a little bit more of a fold hair. That is to create a bigger pockets. So the next step is that you're gonna take the side without the handle and you're gonna fold it one third of the way in towards the middle, like this. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side, folding the handle on the outside. So from here, I'm gonna turn it around so that I have that future pocket facing up away from me. And from here, you can just start rolling it up like we did in the previous method. Now, one thing to keep in mind here is that uh, we're gonna use this handle. So I'm gonna fold it on the side without the handle first. Just fold it over like we did in the previous method. Hold on to it with your fingers while you fold the other side over as well. Like this. And fix it up, stretch it out a little bit. All right, gotta make it look pretty. So uh, here you have it. So you have this little handle and I like to hang these uh, inside of my uh, kitchen door. Another great option is to just hang them here on the outside of the sink. I do find that uh, this is not as attractive and it's not going to work for everybody. But it's very handy when you're standing there doing your dishes. That you can just uh, grab it, do your uh, cleaning. Maybe I have one for cleaning the dishes and one for cleaning the table. Uh, I like this a lot. Of course, uh, yeah, it's not as decorative as uh, the one I showed you previously. So yeah, I hope you found some of these uh, methods useful. I know I told you I was gonna do the spice rack next, uh, so that will have to be next again, I guess. <laughs> uh, I have a bunch of cool kitchen organizing videos planned for you. If you enjoyed this video, uh, maybe you could share, share it with a friend that uh, also likes organizing. That's what we're all about on this channel. I have an entire playlist about how to just fold stuff. Uh, we're currently working our way through the kitchen, so, um, so yeah, see you next time.